So guys, today I'm going to be talking about a little bit of a sad event. For those who don't know or have not been aware, because it is not the most publicized thing in bushcrafting, but unfortunately Wetterlings has now shut down. And they haven't fully like shut down and gone away. So they've decided to become a part of GBA. And so I'm going to talk about this, and I'm definitely wanting to talk about this, because not only do I get a lot of questions about where GBA's gone, why can't I find, or not GBA, but where's Wetterlings gone? Why can't I find a Wetterlings axe? I really want a Wetterlings axe. And that's what, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this. And secondly, one of the reasons, or the other reason I wanted to talk about this is it's quite near and dear to my heart. I mean, my first real axe, the Swedish forest axe, was a Wetterlings. And I've had a lot of use, many years of ownership with this Wetterlings. And like I said, I've put plenty of use on this one and it's overall been my second favorite axe that I've really ever owned and it's very sharp the way it's ground is very good I mean if I didn't have my GBA I would be using my Wetterlings so definitely I really love Wetterlings a lot and I'm definitely quite saddened to see that they're gone because I what I really liked about them is they took on a lot of really fun axe projects like the Bushman by Les Stroud slash Wetterlings I mean it wasn't an axe that I'd probably ever buy but I really liked the fact that they took that kind of special project on it actually was a pretty cool axe in all, rea in all reality uh, but not only did they do that they also had axes for pretty good price points and axes you could actually and buy. really they were essentially when I first got on to the bushcrafting project they were all the rage everybody loved wetterlings they were like the axe to have uh, they partnered with Husqvarna and made really good axes with them but unfortunately apparently over this last 2016 year their production had just slowed way down they were not getting the amount of orders that they had gotten years past they didn't have enough money to really continue so they just joined up with GBA now I will say I don't think that this is the worst thing they could have done and I agree by the way I will have the link to the Wetterlings uh, talk about this because GBA also posted one on this but I wasn't fully trusting of that I needed to hear it from actually Wetterlings because what better than a competitor to say that their competitor went out of business so uh, I'll have the link to the Wetterlings uh, kind of part about where they go into it and what they're doing but once again I was going to say I don't think this is the worst thing because like they said in that note you know the thing they didn't want to do is lose the forage and you know have this piece of Swedish history go away completely and put people out of jobs skilled foragers out of jobs or skilled axe makers out of jobs so really one of the best things they could have done is partner with the GBA and I, I have to agree with that because at least when they partner with GBA, you know, the axe forage that's been there for, you know, 200 years stays there. The axe smiths hopefully stay there and get to continue to do what they love best, and that's making axes. In addition, I also think that this is hopefully going to be good. Once again, this is theory that I'm talking about now, but I hope that adding the Wetterlings crew onto the GBA crew will hope or will help eliminate the two largest problems that GBA has right now and that is quantity and availability. GBA is still heavily under demand and they have to make so many axes that right now or at least when I got my GBA the lead time was six months. Now I kind of lucked out and it was this whole turn of events and there was already an axe going to Alaska and so I just grabbed that one. But but uh, if it wasn't for that nice turn of events, I would have had to wait six months to get my GBA. And that really sucks. And once again, availability is a big problem with GBAs. It seems like they're always going out of stock and they're always very hard to find and kind of tricky to get. So that is one of their problems. Another thing is I hope if they're able to boost the amount of uh, GBAs being made that hopefully they can lower the cost. I'm not talking significantly, but even just 10 to $15 would be really great. 
So I hope to see those few improvements and I would actually be very excited if they could make those three improvements to GBA and honestly I would feel like losing wetterlings would not be as bad if we got some of those things that I just talked about from Grants Forest Brooks and in all honesty while I do love my wetterlings as you guys can probably notice if you watched through my channel you know of last summer through really all of the time ever since I got my GBA I have not been using my wetterlings and that is because while I still love the wetterlings heritage I really do love the ergonomics and overall how the GBAs are made. I really love the GBA more as far as a user's tool than this Wetterlings and I find them lighter weight, better ergonomics. So if Wetterlings can make the, the GBA and they can make it more available, cheaper, and easier to get, um, that's definitely a plus to me. So overall I am pretty sad to see Wetterlings go out of uh, go out of business but once again you know it's not for loss and it's not like we're losing this company entirely and from the sounds of it it appears like you could still potentially go to the uh, wetterlings uh, forage i guess you could call it and still see people there still see wetterlings memorabilia there so it's not completely going away but then again this was just released a week ago so we'll have to wait more and uh, long term to see what really happens but these are some of the things that I hope that happen and uh, some of the things that have been promised to happen but once again still may not happen. Although I just want to make this short video to let you guys know what's going on what's happened in case you haven't heard and I can also make this video so that when and if I get those comments about where did the wetter links go why can't I find one I can just send them the link to this video and this will explain it all. So anyways guys, I'm still quite sad to see where our wings go because they were so awesome and they took on a lot of specialty projects. But once again, it's not all for loss and they are making the most of it. And that's the, probably the best part about that whole situation. Anyways guys, that's all I have to, for now and I'm out.